We begin with plans for a mass transit system in Metro Detroit, and it will take your money to make this happen. 7 Action News reporter Dave Llewellyn joins us live from our downtown studio with a closer look at what was unveiled today. Dave. Glenda, Carolyn, ultimately voters will decide whether a true regional transportation network is needed in southeast Michigan. And there's a cost, about $95 a year for 20 years for the average home. The millage question will be on the ballot in November. Backers of the plan say it is absolutely necessary for the region to be competitive in the future. Say it with me now. <laughs> Rapid, reliable, regional transit for all. That's how the master plan is being branded. The blueprint has been in the works for over a year now, and the leadership of the Regional Transit Authority says the time is right to move forward. I believe the timing is exactly right. Um, there is a growing awareness of our need for improved transit. Um, families who need access to jobs, to vital services, to the amenities in the region. Um, there's a new optimism for the region's future, but an awareness, I think, that we need to be better connected, and regional transit will do that. The transit plan would plug significant gaps in the existing public transportation system and make it more robust and convenient for customers in Wayne, Oakland, Macomb, and Washtenaw counties. Bus rapid transit with dedicated lanes would run on primary routes such as Woodward, Gratiot, Michigan, and Washtenaw avenues. There would be cross county connectors and regional commuter rail service that would run from Detroit to Ann Arbor with stops in between. New airport express service would also be included in the plan along with other features. When we looked at the numbers and the way in which the economy would grow as a result of implementing this plan, we were very encouraged. Over 67,000 jobs, six billion in gross regional product added, and 4.4 billion in personal income growth. I think we make the case for public transportation. Marguerite Maddox is a tireless advocate for the disabled community. She's one of many who need a reliable and user-friendly system to get around. She'll turn 61 in November the same month voters will decide this issue. If it passes in November, then that'll be a wonderful birthday present, won't it? Yes! <laughs> yes, it will. Yeah, good, good. A lot of people are hopeful, but again, it'll be voters in November who will make the ultimate decision on whether this plan goes forward or not. Coming up at 6, what others are saying about this proposal, we found a lot of support, especially about from young people who may or may not be homeowners at this point in their lives. We'll have that coming up at 6. For now, live in our downtown studio, I'm Dave Llewellyn, 7 Action News. All right, Dave, we'll be watching for your report at 6.